mistakes. I've never brought this up again, but since you did. Two hard left hooks by De La Hoya, and Carr grabbing and holding on. Let's get to the fight. <laughs> Oscar's been able to land some left uppercuts. He's made his left hand more of a factor in the bout, which is what I personally think he always has to do when he's in trouble, George. Yeah, that left hand is his groceries. It's his Sunday punch. Yeah. It, it's his meal ticket. He should have been bouncing and jabbing, and then you just wonder, is Oscar getting old soon or what? It reminds me of me. <laughs> now you go, Oscar. Use your legs. But Obercar's got to make certain that he goes left and right so the movement of Oscar's leg doesn't affect what he's doing. Don't move straight in. Fascinating suggestion, George. You're wondering if Oscar De La Hoya has gotten old already. He's 26. It doesn't take long. When you stop using your legs, doesn't, it's not good news. And of course, with regard to any comparison between De La Hoya's meeting with Carr and Trinidad's meeting with Carr, remember that Felix Trinidad fought Carr back in 1994. Now look at Oscar, how well he moves. Why hasn't he been moving all night? Because, because when he moves, he can't, he's not punching, and he's the stronger puncher in this fight. He should be imposing his strength on Carr. Oscar, we need to work more. You need to box more. You've got to put your combinations together. We've got to keep going now. You gotta work. Don't let him come inside. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Relax now. No chances. You don't take any more chances. Flurry early in the round where you could see those remarkably quick hands of De La Hoya. But he gets a little bit wild sometimes. That left hand would have sent lesser men a lesser man flying across the ring. Obakar is no lesser man. Fascinating challenge for the ringside scorers as the pattern obtains through most of the bout. De La Hoya landing more punches, Carr throwing many more. So if you're looking strictly for punch output and activity, Carr is the leader in that category. Now Oscar's gotten to be the counter puncher here in this round. He only hits after he's been hit. Obakar has been the distance many times in his career, more often, in fact, than Deloya. But he has shown a tendency, as he showed against Frankie Randall earlier this year, to fade a little bit in the last two rounds. He's come here for the fight of his life. A lot of people thought that Obakar had gone downhill. He's obviously trained, motivated, to give the best effort he possibly can and even better at this point. Oscar, now he's bouncing good. Now he's bouncing. Now, Obercar has got to make sure that he goes left and right. That's what throws the bouncing off, not coming foul. Steele steps in and momentarily stops the action. Sometimes you want to drop your hand out of the sight of your opponent, keep him guessing so he doesn't jump in too much. You always want to know where your guy's hands are. And Overcar stopped. Whenever he bleeds in a fight, Oscar De La Hoya feels he hasn't fought the fight he wanted to fight, but certainly the bleeding here has nothing to do with the fight he's trying to fight. He's gotten accustomed to swelling under his left eye. It happened against Miguel and Hel Gonzalez. It happened against Chavez. Obviously, it'll be the case from the butt tonight. And some booze coming up because it, because Oscar has decided that he wanted to dance a little. And that's nothing wrong with that. Use your skills. If you got them, use them. But he's again allowing 
Carr to establish the activity contrast as Oba throws most of the punches. He seemed to think that he can take the round by way of a knockdown or something, so he loses the round intentionally almost. Keep in mind, De La Hoya with a likely cushion on the scorecards. Knocked down in round one. And then, in round eight, a point penalty to Carr for butting and another point penalty for hitting low. Bubba Carr's excellent fight. Excellent fight. Keep winning rounds like that, okay? Keep that jab going. Keep that going. Keep, 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 keep that round. Breathe up. You in shape to fight all day. You in shape, you in shape to fight all day, baby. Third to charm, baby. Third to charm. Get your arms out. Get your arms out. They're giant. Must that round's must. Must. We got three rounds to go. I know. You're right. Three, three, three rounds must, okay? That's all we have is three rounds, so you got to keep right. boxing no here. Problem. No problem. Is there a new one up in the hairline on the other side? No. I thought I saw something. What about in here? No. Three rounds to go, Oscar. Right, Three rounds. Three to go. You keep stepping to it. You're going to finish everything with a jab over here. Yeah. Finish, finish everything with a jab. jab. Second finish down. With the jab. You know, I get the feeling that the crowd here is a little bit stunned by what's going on. Yeah, I they, think uh, a victory for Oscar was a foregone conclusion. They, they came, came here for a celebration, a coronation, and a fight broke out. <laughs> How do you have it through now? You know, Jim, it's a very, very interesting fight. There's no question. In rounds, five rounds to four, very close, Asuka De La Hoya. In points, which is what counts, 86, 82, a commanding four-point lead for De La Hoya because how do you overcome a two-point round in round one, a three-point round in round seven? That's Overcar's problem. He's got to win a lot more rounds. He has virtually has to win every one of the last three rounds to win this fight. It's a real close fight, mainly because Obercar is doing what he wants to do. Oscar's doing what he has to do. Let's turn it into a war. All three judges are from here in Las Vegas. He's able to miss a body shot, move around the ring, and nothing happens to him. Oscar just waits. You gotta make them pay. Now Oscar's allowing Obercar to step forward with his left jab. In round nine, the pattern once again obtained. Deloya landed more punches, Carr threw more. Now they trade pretty equally in round ten. Carr is doing a good job, but he don't want to get into a slug fist with Oscar De La Hoya. After that first round knockdown, Carr's shown a pretty good chin. He has taken some thunderous left hooks. And of course, he landed body punches early against De La Hoya, maybe to take some of the steam out of those punches. You know, uh, we've celebrated Carr's chin, and rightly so. And although Carr does not punch anywhere near as hard as Oscar, He's hit Oscar with a lot of clean punches, and Oscar's chin is held up. Oscar's got a good chin. You can put Oscar down for a big heart because he keeps coming. Take a break, goes right back for a knockout. Well, after the 12th round of the Quarte fight, it would Good be luck. hard to call Oscar's heart into question. He threw a left hook to the body that time. was probably the best shot of the whole night. And that left hook to the body, setting up two uppercuts that backed Carr up. Carr's got to make certain he stay away from the left hand of Oscar. Eloy with another crunching left hook. And another uppercut. I could hear Oscar breathing hard from here at ringside. Yeah, because being a puncher takes a lot of oxygen. A very good last minute of the 10th round for Oscar De La Hoya. Could another rally be coming to close the fight? Relax, Oscar. Come on, relax. No problem. Open your mouth and get some water there. All right. Two to go. 
Dos más, dos más. Two more rounds, Oscar. Here we go, no 